Welcome to The Pulse, brought to you by MDT-TV. After comedian Rob Delaney tweeted out this picture, the website Geekosystem wanted to find out the story behind it. After what had to be a Google search gone horribly wrong, they found Dr. Benjamin Locke, who worked on the project. Dr. Locke explained that the photo was taken of a medical student practicing a prostate exam on a virtual patient, named Patrick, by the way. He worked with Dr. Carla Pugh of the University of Wisconsin, who invented a mannequin with sensors on the prostate to track student performance. Patrick was created through the combination of the physical simulator with Dr. Locke's work into virtual patient simulations. The resulting experience is a life-sized realistic virtual person that medical students can speak and gesture with to interact. A mechanical and computer engineer teamed with a psychologist to develop a learning environment for kids with autism built around state-of-the-art technologies. Many children with autism have an affinity for technology. One of those technologies is a humanoid robot nicknamed Russell, who works with the children on their ability to imitate others. It is a skill that is important for learning. Since the robot's features are not as complex as a human's, they don't overstimulate or overwhelm a child with autism. The room is equipped with cameras and sensors which allow the robot to understand how well the child is performing and even if he or she is enjoying the activity. The Will Type A mobility device is coming to the US, developed by a Japanese manufacturer with input from hundreds of mobility device users. The Type A promises greater independence and style for those who require the device. Unlike mobility devices that force users to sit in an inactive posture, like sitting on a couch, the Type A lets users lean into the product, like riding a bicycle. The unique wheel technology works well on different types of surfaces and at the same time enables a very small turning radius. LA billionaire Dr. Patrick Soon Ching is actively working to reinvent healthcare into a digitally enabled, science driven, personalized system. Known in house as the Rocket Ship, the mostly privately funded project aims to link supercomputers and superfast data networks, personal monitoring devices, wired hospitals, clinics, and phones, nanotechnology, and genome and molecular proteomic sampling into a system that can provide individually tailored wellness care and cancer therapy at affordable prices. Is that all? Thus far, Soon Sung has put 800 million into 60 companies, university research programs, and his own do tanks in his pursuit. For more medical technology news, go to mdtmag.com or get involved in the discussions at Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn via the links below. Until next time, I'm Sean Fenske, and this has been The Pulse.